I am back. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. So we're, we're playing Marling against New College now. It's going to be interesting to see Marling, of course, with the one win, and New College have just lost. So it's going to be very interesting to see will New College be able to redeem themselves over their previous game, or will Marling be able to continue on that strong attack that they had from the first, <laughs> ga first game? Yeah, Marling definitely seemed to be um, very strategical, very tactical about the compositions they were picking. And I think New College were trying to be, but they were making some key mistakes. Is May going to be a key mistake, though? <laughs> I I don't know. I think that this it's is something. Snowy. It's it is it is a snowy map there. You know, keeping with the theme, keeping with the theme. But I don't know whether it's going to be unless they get that close quarters combat very effective. Now it does look like on the Marling side that they are going to try and make those close attacks. Apart from Diva, who's kind of the more like range, but they're going to need to get that that Winston up super super close for it to be effective. Yeah. And then they're just using the Lucio for the heal and the kind of to carry them around the map as much as they need. The thing is they don't want to be going well, they don't want to be going into these rooms because they can just be completely blocked off and especially if one of their heroes gets in and of course don't forget that May has no damage drop off. Oh. Yeah. Which will be which will be it's almost oh, like a little, <laughs> little sniper pop there, but Winston Oh no. May just then oh, just having so oh, oh, beautiful brutal. But it does look like there's the 2v1. Marlin clearly have the upper hand here, just spraying down. But the May's gone into healing mode here. Marlin just kind of keeping just outside. They're trying to pull, pull her out a little bit because then you can go for the kind of stronger attacking, which we'll see they're just idling around the top here. They're waiting probably for the capture point unlock as it looks. They're both trying to keep within this capture point area for it to be able to go for that kind of re-attack, which we'll see here. They're all just standing around. Marlin prepared for the capture point. Looks like... New College is going to have to be careful to make that push now. Trying to get the little no damage drop, as you said, the kind of little pot shots across the map. Doesn't really look to be that effective. And now rushing on the closer range here. Probably going to start trying to freeze them pretty soon, but it's what we're going on to see here now. We've got the Marlin going for the attack here. Still in shield. They're just going spraying down. It looks like Marlin going to take the first round, but got into the shield just in time. Fair play to the May, but they're back behind. May's now lost that, and it looks like Marlin's just going to spray him down win. So first round to Marlin, I think well deserved. Yeah, May was definitely in a, uh, a really dangerous position there once uh, her teammates had gone down. And of course, when you're going against the D.Va, the D.Va, the D.Va can just use the uh, defense matrix to swallow up those ice cores definitely. and uh, and your primary fire as well, which means that it's actually a really difficult position for the May to be in. So, you guys leading now. Definitely. Are. It would be interesting now that they've lost those characters to see who they've gone for the picks. And it looks like we've got the picks in here. It looks like... Interesting is that's the classic Marling layout from what we've seen before. <laughs> the classic I Marling. Think this is this is This is Marling Com. This is Marling Com. <laughs> this is this is Marling Com. Well they're gonna be able to occupy the high ground up here. In fact both are, but we'll be wanting to see them sort of jump down and trying to take dominance on the capture point fairly soon because uh, the Orissa competition is gonna be a lot harder to actually move down successfully, whereas the Reinhardt composition has a lot more of that mobility available to them. So we're seeing both sides here kind of shooting across the map. Nobody really trying to make any immediate plays yet, apart from just using that shield and that swipe to kind of just keep them back a bit, to show that they're dominance here, that they are the ones that are going to be in control. Marling just there, keeping behind the shield. They're going to have to pull back a little bit because Reinhardt, they lost it, but Reinhardt's shield now recharging. So it'll be interesting to see, are we just going to continue this going on? Who's going to make the first play? That's the real question here. We're going to maybe have to even wait until the capture point unlocks because right now no one's really getting all that much in the McCrees are really struggling to bring down the tanks shields and you could argue that new college have the advantage because both anna and mccree can deal the same kind of hit scan damage and anna actually has a nano boost available already so this could be a really big boon here for new college well, it looks like here there's some moves trying to start to be finally played after that shield goes down. Marling looks like they're making the first push there, maybe. Trying to keep the recharge over on the new college side with that Anna there just constantly. But it looks like Marling just took two of them out. Marling now just going for the final, just a little swipes. <laughs> just almost moving it. But it looks like new college were able to take, take him out. But I don't know. It's, it's a 2v1 again here. It really does look like Marling are asserting their dominance in this game. Yeah, Marling finally managed to get it at the end there. Although, unfortunately, they weren't able to use that Earth Shadow that they had because the Reinhardt went down too early. And it's, it's always disappointing in rounds like this where, you know, sometimes everybody's dead before anyone gets any ultimates online. So to see one be so close yet so far is actually quite heartbreaking. Definitely. I, I mean, they've lost the character now, so it's it's, it's something that's, that's gone. But it leads to the potential of maybe the first 3-0 that we have properly 
seen, especially from Marley. Yeah, you can it? dream, you can dream, but... I, I'm seeing the free... I've got big <laughs> pictures now of the free nil. I have nil. dreams, you I know. do, I do have dreams. The free nil is coming, I can see it. I'm very interested in here what New College are running because you don't frequently see the Lucio with the soldiers. You no. often like to park a soldier up on the high ground and just be left with his own devices and a Roadhog doesn't particularly need a Lucio. So I think from the get-go, Marling have uh, got the advantage in their composition provided that Farad doesn't get hooked out of the sky. Well, it does look like they have they have picked the Farad, as you say, which is a bit toxic. The toxic trio may be coming out here with the dedicated <laughs> healer, but this was really effective for them last oh, game. Oh, there's a Lucio. There's the, this was really effective for Marling that game that they won really quickly so it's almost like they've been saving this and they know that this was their final round and they just want to go in here and they just want to clear out which is showing to be my free nil dreams are coming <laughs> true my free nil dreams marling school wins <laughs> the first round beautiful i am proud of them again it wow was, uh, that was actually a really good choice of composition at the end there of course the roadhog works very very well with the pharmacy but also i like the fact that when the lucio went down we actually just here we see the soldier bring out the biotic field which soldiers usually do because they're going to stand in that one place but of course he had to be forced away from it because there were rockets coming down yeah. and if he were to have stood still then it would have been even easier for the pharaoh to have gotten him. it's then. almost like if he had saved it a few seconds later maybe and tried to <laughs> dodge the rockets first and then place down to get his health back up he might have had an opportunity of getting out of there but really with that pharaoh overhead with the constant healing there's not much he could have done without us all at this point it seems to be what you see in most sort of six versus six situations is if a team is running a hit scan hero against a Farah, frequently they'll have the advantage because they can bring the Farah out the sky fairly easily. But on these three versus three situations, we often see the Farahs actually coming out on top a lot because there requires so much um, like staticness from the hit scan hero that actually puts them at a really, really vulnerable spot. And it's going to be a lot harder to actually jump down onto that control point if you're playing something like, for example, a Widowmaker or McCree that works better when they're kind of just staying still. Yeah, so I think we soon we'll be heading off into the next game. We're going to see the same kind of thing, but this time on a different map. Yeah. Which would be good. Marling haven't yet played here, so we'll see where that's going in, in a second. How that's gonna how that's gonna lead for them. Yeah, New College did, of course, just play on this map, and this was the one where they. <laughs> I mentioned it a few times now, but this is the one where they did play the Orissa that just wandered in front of a Reinhardt's charge, and that's what ended up bringing down the team. So we'll see if they've learned from their past mistakes. As long as they're learning, that's what matters. <laughs> so wholesome. Exactly. It's just about being. <laughs> Loving and caring. It's just about being place. here and playing exactly. Overwatch. We all love each other. Not, not winning at all. I, I definitely don't want Marling to win, but you know. That's on tape. I, we have a record of you saying that now. That can be taken out. They're, they're not, Someone clip that. They're not going to be very happy with me over there in a minute. <laughs> so heading into the first game here, we just see the picks being starting to made. It's going to be interesting to see really what they're going to do because while Black Forest sure has the levels of you know versatility and the change that you can make between there, this map is a bit more static in the sense that there's the sniping spots, there's those kind of spots that offer you a lot of cover as a sniper. So maybe we'll be seeing some Widowmaker for the first first time from Marling here especially, but we aren't. They're going in. Oh, <laughs> you're them. so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm going to have words with them, stern <laughs> words with them about this. I'm not happy. But it looks like New College have gone with Genji. Now, Marling were talking to me earlier, they were saying they're hoping that someone goes for Genji because they really think that Genji is kind of overrated in a 3v3 situation. Ooh. I mean, he can be good if he can get the dashes to work, but um, I don't really think his projectiles are going to be that effective against this composition where the Diva can just eat them. Exactly. Genji's weird because Genji can be awesome if you have someone who's good at Genji, but if you don't, then oh, Genji, so Gen Genji can just really be a bit of a nuisance to the team because you're kind of dashing around constantly asking for healing, you know, heal me, heal me, heal me. But it looks like New College actually is out to advantage. Genji seems pretty good. Marling are actually taking some strong hits from New College here, with New College being at the massive upper hand. So maybe the Genji, maybe they do have a good Genji. Well, they did, of course, they go do. straight in for that dash on the Lucio and then getting the melee kill there, bringing the mech off the D.Va. But they, uh, yeah, they, they went straight in for the dash on the Lucio and you could kind of see what Marling were going for. They were bringing the fight very close to the edge where they can maybe get that a really important boop. And while the two tanks were distracted, that's exactly when the dash went through. And of course, you lack that uh, engage, disengage potential. You lack the sustain, any healing that you may have have available to you is immediately gone. Exactly, so we're heading into the next round here. Now the benefit for Marling here is that New College no longer have Genji. Genji is <laughs> out of the question. Marling looks like they're Running going... the Marling comp! 
Yes, yes, the Marlin come yet again. <laughs> This is the iconic trio, not truly the toxic trio, but it's pretty iconic with their, <laughs> with their ability to kind of take these early shots. So we're going on here, we're seeing the first level of engagement with the, the healing kind of in that surrounding area there from New College. But it looks like Marling are really focusing on getting the healer out of the question. Yeah, we already saw that Lucio be brought so low then, which means he really had to back off and you, you can't sort of be put yourself in a position where that can be uh, exploited any further. But he's managed to mostly heal up, but he knows that uh, the McCree on the side of Marling's really out for him. This is aggressive stuff. Definitely. This, Marling is clearly just now that they know that that, that team went kind of really lightweight almost offensive attack but now Marling is going for the heavyweight offensive where they're dealing with the, the shield pushing forward and they're getting the free hit in the shots and it looks like that's proving to be effective Marling still everyone on full health going down on a 3v1 and they're just absolutely just shipping away at that Roadhog and Marling takes the win looks like that Genji seemed to be a great thing for New College but now that it's gone looks like New College are going back to, to meet the fierce they're Marling. They're getting back on their throne exactly. I mean, yeah what we saw there is of course when you go in very close to a he does have that flashbang available, so he can just stun you straight out, which is what happened to that Reaper there. But also, the Reinhardt has the cleave ability, which really brought uh, is what brought the Roadhog down because you get close to a Reinhardt and he's just got that hammer that he can cleave straight into your face and deal so much damage. You should never underestimate how much damage a Reinhardt can do. But We've seen some Pharaoh without the Mercy though, so if the Pharaoh can be brought down, especially by this Widowmaker that is being run on the side of New College, then this could be fairly disastrous for Marling. This is a brave thing for Marling to <laughs> yeah. do without the healer. Braver than the it will be interesting to see whether they're able to do this. They're just keeping the healer under the, the Pharaoh under the shield. Yeah, which is interesting. Gonna go in the air at see, some they're point. gonna. I reckon they'll boost her up. Yeah, there you go. There's the boost around the side here, trying to deal with the Widowmaker on New College. Looks like they're going to have to do without Widowmaker. That Widowmaker is going to be trying to make some cross map shots. Interesting to see how fast Marling will deal with her because she's super, super important to get out of here. It's the only way they continue. Looks like on the ground, the new college are getting a little bit tanked by the rest of the Marling team, but they There's take the Pharah. But it looks like Marling are in the 2v1 situation against the Widowmaker here. They've got a shield, so as long as they play their cards right, they can use the boost to get them all up there speed-wise, and then they can use the shield to prevent the shots there, as you can see. This is so low, she's actually healing up now. But you're right, if they uh, if they do manage to use the boost, Orissa could, of course, halt her out. If, yeah. uh, if she gets a successful halt on her now, she manages to deal that damage into the Widowmaker, who really doesn't have a very large health pool, and that could be really disastrous. And of course, getting uh, this uh, shot on the right Oh, wall. suicidal. No, they've lost she it. Suicidal she, she play. She couldn't shoot the Orissa through the shield there. Fair play. Out by suicide. I don't want to give Marling the kill. But, Beaten you know. by a Pharaoh without a healer composition. That is a little bit painful. I mean, they lost their Genji, as I said before. Oh. Genji was their true gateway, but it's gone now. It was. He was uh, who they were relying on. So now this puts Marling, of course, in that 2v1 situation. So it means if they take this next round, then they do take this series. Coming out with something that actually we've seen a couple of times with the Diva and the Winston, two very highly mobile tanks. But of course, instead of coming out with the Lucio, they're gonna have that Mercy. Which I think is interesting. I think what Marling have done here is that they've taken uh, snippets of all their best compositions so far. <laughs> and they've kind of just taken them on and just sell them all together. <laughs> Which we'll see, maybe it'll be a mess, maybe it'll be effective. It looks like New College gone for the Pharaoh, then maybe to counter what they had seen such strong attack from Marling before. But Marling may be predicting that. They've got the air healer there. It looks like, you know, we've got the Pharaoh Mercy combo on New College. Will that prove effective or will Marling know to get rid of the healer quickly? Because we really saw New College were able to take out Marling's, you know, sky-based attack because they didn't have the healer. It was it was simple. Will Marling be able to reverse that and just take the healer quickly? But no, it looks like New College have the upper hand here. Which is really interesting. Marling on low health here. Marling looks like they're about to lose it. Diva is out of show. Diva's getting hit hard with Diva out now, which is sad Aww. to see. No. And look how low the Winston is as well. It's just yeah. a matter of time until he also goes down. And I think the really important thing there in that round was that going against the Pharaoh with two tanks, you actually don't have anybody who can directly counter her. The Diva can, of course, use her boosters to go up, use the defense matrix to block her incoming damage, but there's really not much that, as far as dealing damage onto the Pharaoh goes, that Marlin could have done in that situation. And so it really just sort of was a waiting game for the Pharaoh to bring those tank health balls all the way down, leading them to a win.
win on that round. So now this is anyone's game. This is, I think what Marling have done here, they've gone for the same composition, but they know that the Fair and Mercy combo on New College have been burnt now. That's not something that they can come back and do. Looks like they've gone a bit brave with the Hanzo. That is a little bit brave. They're going to have to get someone who really knows the kind of velocity and things that come off him there well. But <laughs> this will be interesting to see. It looks like going for the early shots there, but doesn't really get anything too successful. <laughs> looks like Marling trying to make a stern push here, using the defense matrix to keep him out of the way. Under the shield here. Oh, looks like he's using the storm arrows, but that didn't really prove effective. Looks like Marling still. Marling have taken the first kill here. Is this the true Marling combo that's going to prove really effective? Looks like New College there trying to keep that laser beam constantly to get the health down, but looks like Marling constantly just using that strong electric attack to take him out. Marlin clearly with the upper hand here. A 3v1 situation. Will we see another suicide jump maybe? No, it looks like Marlin are going in here with the melee, but Marlin win the game. So Marlin have now won the second, <laughs> the third series, but it's gonna GG's be hurting for New College. It is, it, it really is. is. <laughs> Double loss, but fair play to Marling for that. That was that's been beautiful. For and them. it was really hard then for New College. You know the fact that they didn't actually have anyone who could really go back and kill for the Lucio. They were running the Zarya alongside the Hanzo, and uh, Zarya is not particularly mobile. She's quite slow moving, and Hanzo, of course, you sort of expect to be off on his own a little bit. So that was very very open for Marling once they managed to bring down that Lucio quite easily.